Hi, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us today for Hindsight 2020, New Tools You Can Use Now. My name is Brad Zaitsoff, and I'm the Director of Marketing here at Tailwind. And today I'll be joined by Tailwind's Director of Product Design and Delivery, Kyle Shaw. To start things off, I have a fun poll for our audience today. So with many of us working from home and not able to actually see each other, hand on heart, right now, let me get this poll right now. Oh, there you are you wearing pajamas? So, you. <laughs> well, you already saw me there. Um, are, are you saying never? You'd never work in your pajamas. It's unbecoming. Or maybe 100%. You're wearing your pajamas and are, are proud of it. Or maybe, well, I guess you wouldn't really know if I was doing this or not. Um, exactly. Are you business on top? PJs on the bottom. Are you uh, the pajama lift? Jamalit? Yeah, I think that works there. Um, or maybe just took them off a minute ago. I give people a couple more seconds to that. Oh, that's a pretty even split right now. It's interesting. <laughs> oh, but one has definitely taken out the lead. One is in the lead. Oh, we're going to share this really soon. This is very interesting. And I'm, I'm going to say number number two is going to be the winner. Yeah, is that what you say? Oh, you don't that's, you don't actually see this. I don't see these yet until you release oh. the results. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, let me. Uh, Share the results of this one. And yes, number two, 46%. They're all in for comfort. They, they're wearing their pajamas and are proud of it. Yeah. Um, and then I, I, I do like the pajama, the uh, business on top, PJs on the bottom. I think that's uh, yeah, that's the way to go. All right, I'll uh, hide those results and get back to you know the actual task at hand. Um, to start off, we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping. The webinar is being recorded and we will be sent out to all the registrants in the next day or so. Uh, for the duration of the webinar, all attendees will be muted. But if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send a message in the chat or question box. And we'll review these in the Q&A portion at the end of the webinar. Now, for those new to Tailwind, we're a transportation software company focused on helping small to mid-sized trucking companies, freight brokerages, and those businesses that do both. Since launching our true web-based TMS offering in late 2016, we've made over 350 enhancements and updates to it, making it stronger so it can help folks like all of you be more effective and resilient to raise your compete levels when taking on the big players in the freight market. And, and just so you know, we're not gonna go over three, all the 350 in the uh, webinar today. That would be ludicrous. Um, but what we will be covering up um, are some of these new tools that we added to the Tailwind TMS in 2020. Um, enhancements that you can use to help you take advantage of uh, and well, use in your business now. So just uh, before we get into all those, I want to find out from our audience, uh, what are the specific features that you are most interested in learning about? Uh, you could choose multiple here. So are you most interested in learning about the updates made to our free POD Capture mobile app, POD Complete? Uh, is it being able to get across the US and Canada border faster using the Border Connect ACE ACI integration? Uh, maybe you're most interested in the multiple integrations we have to help you track your loads. Uh, maybe you're looking for new and larger customer opportunities that are opened up by our integration with Kleinschmidt EDI. Or maybe it's a faster and ultimately safer carrier onboarding integration we have with RMIS that really gets your motor running. All Is that right. a BTL reference? Yeah, <laughs> gets your point. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't think it's BTL. Um, I should know. No, sorry. Be wild. Steppenwolf. Yeah, there we go. Steppenwolf. There you go. Anyway. Um, so I see most people have mo voted now. So. I'll close that poll and share the results. So we got um, a lot of people are interested in POD Complete. ACE ACI got quite a few people also interested, uh, basically across the board. So we will definitely be uh, covering all these and more. So, you know, there we go. I'll hide and the more. There. Yeah. <laughs> and you're probably getting tired of hearing me speak. So now I'll actually turn it over to Kyle to speak in detail about the new TMS tools and integrations that we released in 2020. Perfect. Thanks, Brad. Uh, we'll get started with our completely revamped mobile app POD Complete. Uh, your drivers can simply snap photos of the POD and have it uploaded to your system so that you can invoice your customer before your driver even leaves the dock. 
uh, we spoke with one of our customers who conducted an analysis on the costs of handling and managing PODs, uh, and they found that they could save over $20,000 annually managing only about 50 PODs per month. Think about what you could do with that. Uh, one of the benefits for us revamping POD Complete uh, was to update the look and feel of the app to bring it more modern, um, but also behind the scenes use technology that allows us to deploy enhancements uh, to the app much faster. Uh, we no longer are required to maintain two separate apps, one for iOS and one for Android. Um, but yeah, sorry if I went a little bit too nerdy with that one, but that was a big deal to us. It does save us a lot of time on the back end. Um, and with that, I'll quit on the nerdy stuff and we'll go through a quick run through of using POD complete. Uh, Brad, I think we have a quick video for that. We do. Perfect. And... Using the POD complete app is really easy. First step will be to open up your trip and assign your driver. Once the driver has been assigned, the driver will receive a POD complete app notification on their phone advising them that they've been assigned to a new load. Upon opening the app, the driver will see a list of active loads that he's assigned to and can cl click into each one to view the route and ship in details. I'm going to open up uh, 154 that was assigned. From within here, the driver has at each stop the ability to update the arrival and departure times. This will then go back and update the main Tailwind TMS application in real time. At each delivery location, the driver has the ability to capture an image and upload the PUD, or if they're using a third party scanning software, they can simply upload a file that contains the POD. And that's it. All right, I'll get back to uh, the presentation here. All right, now we'll showcase the integration with Border Connect, the industry leading ACE and ACI e-manifest software for fleets of all sizes. And the Border Connect ACE ACI integration helps Tailwind users that dispatch cross border loads between the US and Canada and simplifies automated commercial environment, or ACE, and advanced commercial information ACI processes. So crossing the border doesn't have to be difficult. Uh, Kyle will be explaining how to use this within the Tailwind application. Perfect. Thanks, Brad. Um, as Brad mentioned, ACE ACI is used to electronically transmit uh, shipment and dispatch information uh, to their corresponding border services, uh, keeping with the theme of making things as efficient as possible without adding more to your workflow. Uh, we designed our integration with Border Connect to change very little of your day to day uh, tasks. Uh, the first step that you'll want to do is open the trip and ensure uh, that you've assigned your drivers uh, and equipment, both tractors and trailers, uh, that will be used on the trip. Next, you'll want to make sure that you add the border crossing to the route using the Add Border Crossing button found in your route plan. Uh, and you can see that on the screenshot on the left. Uh, once that's done, uh, you're ready to send your manifest through. Uh, up at the top, you'll see a button uh, that you can click to select the appropriate manifest that you want to send, either ACE, uh, which is inbound into the US, uh, or ACE ACI, which is inbound into Canada. Uh, upon clicking either option, uh, you'll then see a screen uh, that will go through uh, and check all the required information uh, when you're submitting this manifest and let you know if there's anything that you need uh, to tweak before uh, submitting it through. For example, you might be missing some travel docs for your driver and need to go in and update their profile for submitting. Uh, if all you see is green check marks like our screenshot there, you're good to go. Click submit and that'll then send the manifest to Border Connect, who will then forward it to the appropriate border services. Um, the manifest will then be reviewed by each one that you do send it through to, um, and then will be either accepted or rejected. Um, inside you'll, of the uh, modal there that comes up, you'll see that there is also the logs that are visible um, and that information will flow back to say, yep, yeah, it's been good or it's not been good and what changes you may need to make. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, now we'll discuss our partnership with E4Score. Uh, so E4Score offers tech tools for the logistics and transportation industry that reduce costs, increase productivity and ensure compliance. The E4Score suite provides end-to-end -end visibility tools, and we've specifically integrated their shipment tracking technology, Easy Check-In, 
and to tell it. Kyle, can you let us know a little bit more about that? Of course. Easy Check-In is a patent pending appless tool that makes it super easy for drivers to submit uh, their shipment events, uh, such as arrived at gate, at, or sorry, arrived at gate, <laughs> loaded and departed um, at each stop to report their location while en route to uh, pick up or delivery. Um, all these events are GPS confirmed so that you do know the driver was exactly where he said he was when he did click that button. You get trusted visibility on every shipment and every stop. And you also get happy drivers. Um, there's no app for them to download, um, limiting that app fatigue. We don't want to give our drivers 16 different apps to update all these different things. Uh, there's no different tracking overhang uh, that violates their privacy. And uh, there's obviously no need for you to make the check calls. Uh, easy check-in uh, tracking users have reported improved collections, uh, reduced detention, uh, and dock delays, uh, as well as fewer deductions. They're able to resolve their issues before their customers call uh, and fully comply with all their reporting requirements, ultimately being able to focus on the customer uh, instead of fighting fires and doing all the check calling. And the GPS confirmation of arrival and departure times proves your $100 detention invoice or disproves the $500 late delivery deduction that you might get. And the icing on the cake is the cost. There are no additional costs associated with easy checking. Uh, we have built it all into whichever product tier you're on. On our pro tier, you get 25 loads included free per month. On enterprise, it's 50. And unlimited, well, just like the product here, it's also unlimited. Uh, you can track as many loads as you want. Um, so now I'm going to go through a quick demo. And I might believe we might have a video for this one as well. Right, Brad? We do. We do. Perfect. So first off, I won't bore everybody with the setup configuration within uh, the system here, uh, but I will let you know it's as simple as clicking a few buttons and then the two systems will be enabled to communicate with each other. Really, it takes a matter of minutes and you're, you're up and running. Um, so with that, let's jump into the meat and potatoes and uh, I'll show you how easy it is to get a dispatch created in Tailwind uh, over into the easy check-in uh, system here. Um, I've already brought up order number five, uh, 95 in our system. Uh, it's one that hasn't been dispatched yet. So we've taken our, uh, our order from our customer and we're basically ready to plan that then out. Uh, to do that, we simply just click on our dispatch button here. I'm gonna assign it to a new dispatch and uh, I'm going to associate it with our brokered carrier here. Uh, in our demo system here, I'm gonna choose sample carrier one, our equipment type of flat deck, and assign our rep. <clears throat> so with the easy check-in stuff, there are a few fields that we do need to fill in. One being uh, the driver's cell number so that we know who it's gonna be going to. Oops. The tractor and the trailer. From here, I'm simply gonna click save. Perfect. So once our dispatch uh, has been fully planned, um, and in this case, we're going to assume that is the case, it's as easy as clicking the send to easy check-in button here up at the top. This brings up our, our dialog box here, um, which gives us the ability to specify our tracking uh, start date and time. Uh, by default, this is filled in one hour prior uh, to the arrival of the first location on, uh, on the dispatch there. So you can see we had it scheduled for 12 p.m. It comes in with 11. Um, and that will then happen if we were to click our, click our send to dispatch information button here. We do always have the option to override that. So if you want to start that process earlier, you can or we also have the option here to click our send to dispatch information now, which will do it at this current time to the driver so that's not scheduled. Um, so for us, I'm simply just gonna click our send, pardon me, our send to dispatch information button. It'll take a quick sec and that's it. It's as simple as doing that. There's no double entry. Uh, the integration will create the, the dispatch in the easy check-in system. Um, and then as you'd seen through the video, uh, as the driver completes the process, um, 
with the arrived and departed uh, on the uh, website there, it will actually come back and update our arrival and departure times uh, in here as well. Please note, you also have an account in your own account inside of Easy Check-in, um, so you can actually view even more uh, of the data relating to the shipment. So first off, All right, I think we're back. <laughs> so thank you, video Kyle, um, on that one there. <laughs> now, moving on to our new EDI integration with Kleinschmidt. Uh, do you have customers that require you to be EDI compliant, or are you wanting to grow your business and target new markets? If you're a small to mid-sized transportation company that has lost business because some of your larger shippers require you to support EDI document exchange, the Tailwind and Kleinschmidt partnership may be your solution. We've integrated Kleinschmidt's EDI functionality into the Tailwind TMS so that businesses like you can easily meet the data requirements of your customers and gain new business. Uh, the benefits of EDI include reduced costs, increased processing speed, reduced data entry errors, and improved relationships with business partners. I'll now switch things over to Kyle to discuss how to use EDI in Tailwind. Yeah, so I won't bore with the setup of the configuration and all that good, good stuff. Um, but basically, once we've configured the exchange of documents between uh, the two systems, uh, the first step will be to review any new tenders that have been received. Uh, in the top menu, you'll see that we have our EDI module. Um, and if you see that you have a red circle beside it, like indicated in the screenshot there, um, this is to notify you that you have a new uh, unread tender uh, that's available for you. Upon clicking into EDI, you'll see that it's broken up into two different sections, uh, one for incoming uh, and one for outgoing. By default, when you click into the EDI module, it will load the incoming list as uh, these messages do require action uh, by a user. Uh, you'll notice that each of these records does have a color-coded status associated with it. Um, not read means that it hasn't been read by any user of the TMS yet. Read, uh, the message has been viewed by a user. Uh, accepted, the terms of the tender have been reviewed and accepted by a user, or uh, declined, which means that for whatever reason um, a user has chosen to not accept that and decline it. Could be that you don't have any capacity available, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so if we're going to click into one of those to load tenders there, uh, you'll see uh, you get the load information details. Um, from here, this is where you would then review the details um, and either accept the load um, or again, like I said, if you're unable to move it, uh, you do have the option to decline. Um, and then there's a drop down for you to select the reason as to why. Could be not enough lead time, no equipment, just like I talked about. Uh, upon selecting either accept or reject or decline, uh, the system will automatically generate uh, a 990 message. Um, basically, this is a response to that tender. Um, and that will then go back to your trading partner to advise them of what your choice was. Um, if we click on the outgoing tab, uh, you'll see that it's shown here. Again, you'll be able to check the status uh, to see whether or not it's been uh, sent, which means that it's simply being uh, queued to be pulled into the Kleinschmidt uh, system. Sent means that it has been received by Kleinschmidt. Accepted means that it went from Kleinschmidt to your trading partner. Um, they did review it and it has been accepted on their end of things. Uh, or lastly, declined, which means that there was an issue for whatever reason with the, the uh, document uh, that came across and it does need to then be resent. Uh, often, your trading partners will want to receive uh, shipment status updates from you. Uh, with our Kleinschmidt integration, this is built right into your normal dispatch workflow. Uh, again, no additional steps are required by you and your dispatching team. And if anything, their jobs will be made easier as they don't need to provide any manual status updates over the phone. It's all being manually triggered behind the scenes. As your dispatch locations get updated, either manually by a dispatcher uh, by clicking off the arrived and departed flags uh, or through our driver app that I talked about earlier, POD Complete, it will automatically generate uh, those corresponding uh, 214 status messages um, with the appropriate status, i.e. at pickup, picked up, at delivery, delivered. Um, there are a couple of places within uh, the TMS that you'll be able to see these outbound messages. One is directly from our outbound EDI list in the EDI module or uh, directly from within the order that was created from uh, accepting our tender. 
if your tender or sorry if your trading partner has uh, requested you to receive uh, invoices uh, via EDI you'll simply need to ensure that you've set their invoice transmit method to be EDI 210. Once this is done, uh, as you go through and post any orders for that customer, the 210 message will be queued for Kleinschmidt to receive and then transmit to your customer. Again, uh, that's repeated if workflow there, trying to limit the steps that you guys are gonna have to do, limit the changes, but adding more functionality. So making it as seamless as possible for you to do uh, what you were doing without having to do anything differently. Um, once that invoice has been transmitted to your customer, you'll be able to see that status in the outbound list to confirm that it's being sent to uh, your customer and trading partner and accepted. Given that invoices do often need to be adjusted, i.e. you might have to add some detention time, FSC, uh, etc., cetera, um, you do always have the option to resend those through. Uh, to do this, you simply open up that order and then you'll have uh, an option for send EDI 10 from within there. Uh, and with the with that, I'll turn things back over to Brett. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, now we'll go over the expanded Trucker Tools load tracking integration. Uh, as a bit of an intro into Trucker Tools, uh, this company provides not only load visibility, but predictive freight matching and trip planning solutions for the transportation industry. <laughs> Trucker Tools platform gives brokers accurate, real-time data, optimally matching freight with trucks and allowing them to track loads from the beginning uh, or to the end of a trip. Their popular driver app has been downloaded by over 1 million drivers, and it provides automated real-time shipment tracking, so it eliminates your check calls. Trucker Tools customers get an average tracking compliance of 72% uh, from start to finish, and customers that follow their best practices receive over 90% tracking compliance. They provide you with real-time tracking updates every five minutes, so you know exactly where your freight is at all times and can satisfy shipper requirements. And now I'll turn it to Kyle, who will go over how to access Trucker Tools information from within Tailwind. Yeah, from our side of things, adding the Trucker Tools load track integration will not change much to our normal workflow. Again, repeating that theme, uh, as all the heavy lifting is uh, done by Trucker Tools behind the scenes, um, the first step that does need to be done is you do need to create an API token and to provide this to Trucker Tools. Um, Trucker Tools will also provide you with an account ID, uh, an integration ID and a shared secret that do need to be put into our system. Um, so this basically allows Trucker Tools to connect to Tailwind uh, and us to connect to them to perform all the necessary push-pull of data between the two. To start dispatching, uh, or sorry, to just start tracking loads um, using Trucker Tools, once you've determined the carrier that um, you're gonna be using to move the load, um, you'll simply need to create that dispatch. Um, inside of that dispatch, you just need to fill in uh, the driver's cell number, um, the carrier's tracker number, and their trailer number. Um, and then this will trigger the trip to be sent to Trucker Tools app, which is installed on the driver's phone. Uh, as the driver then updates his arrival and de departure or delivery at the stops on the trip, this information will automatically flow uh, back through into uh, the corresponding trip in Tailwind. Um, again, no more check calls to find out whether the load has been picked up or delivered, freeing you up to uh, work on the important task of growing your business. Um, and that's pretty much it, Brett. Thank you, Kyle. And for our last integration, uh, we'll be talking about RMIS. Uh, Tailwind users can now use RMIS to speed up their carrier onboarding. What does this mean? Well, now you can have updated vendor and contact records with data flowing from RMIS with a couple clicks rather than having to search for it or ask for it and then have to type it in all manually. Uh, users can also expand on the scope of this integration by taking advantage of the available API routes between Tailwind and RMIS. I'll now pass it back over to Kyle for a more in-depth overview on how to utilize this integration. Yeah, so how does it work? Uh, well, you can now ask carriers you want to onboard to complete registration through the RMIS onboarding portal. Uh, every 15 minutes, RMIS will perform a check on any new carriers uh, that were created uh, to see if they already exist in your Tailwind database. Uh, if it is a new carrier, RMS will create this vendor record um, in the database. Um, and if that one does already exist, the, the sync will then update that carrier um, and or any contact records that do exist with whatever information uh, needs to be put in on them. So how to get started with that? Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, Basically, very similar to our trucker tools one, uh, you'll need to go in and generate a token 
um, for the API to, and provide this to the account rep uh, at RMIS. Um, this is done again through going, uh, going through the configuration area inside of Tailwind, um, navigating to integration, third party, filling in RMIS in the name field and then clicking create. Basically this then creates a, a token uh, and you can copy that and email it directly to them. Um, from there, everything will then happen behind the scenes, just like I, I talked about there. So that is RMS. And on top of all of these partner integrations, we've also made quite a few uh, just enhancements to the core TMS. Um, some of those notable ones are um, changes to our dispatch. Um, one, we made improvements to the performance and usability when working with multiple, st multiple stop trips. Oh, tongue twister. <laughs> uh, we also did add the ability to search uh, carriers via the MC number uh, on our dispatch. We did receive a lot of feedback from customers looking for this. Um, so we were happy that we added that guy in there. Um, we also added automatic payables to our vendor records uh, to better handle uh, quick pay deductions. Uh, so for those of you that uh, are doing automatic quick pay for them, um, this thing can automatically generate those deductions on, on your payables. Um, we added a couple of fuel integrations uh, with BVD and multi-service. We added our custom fields to the email template smart tags. Uh, so when building out those templates, you can now use uh, those and make those available just to make those more user friendly for you. We added the ability to accrue year to date balances um, and run reports on those and, and also displaying those year to date amounts on our uh, driver settlements. We created a QuickBooks, or not created, I guess, uh, it's the wrong word. Uh, we enabled a QuickBooks desktop import uh, using uh, a couple third-party tools, and then just a number of tweaks and enhancements to the reporting uh, module within the system to include more data, provide more filtering, um, just based on feedback that we did receive uh, from our customers. So that's 2020. Uh, now, what's on tap for 2021? So this is a very high level uh, item list of things that we are thinking about doing for 2021. Uh, firstly, auto rating. Um, so what this is, is the ability to add automatic revenue lines to the orders, uh, depending on uh, different parameters, i.e. if your weight is a certain amount going from A to B, you're gonna charge this amount uh, to the customer. Uh, so looking at putting that in. Um, factoring integrations on both the AR and AP side of things. Um, automated order entry, either through OCR, OCR and, and or bulk uploads via uh, Excel or CSV. Um, additional fuel integration um, with different vendors. We receive requests all the time for different vendors that are out there, uh, seems to be more popping up. So uh, as we start to gather that feedback from you guys, uh, we'll continue to look at implementing those. Um, improvements to our driver qualifications um, to help with that onboarding process. Um, and then lastly, uh, lane rate view integrations. Um, so to, to provide you guys some flexibility into what that, uh, or visibility into what those uh, rates are for specific lanes, uh, pulling from different third party sources, like for, for example, DAT um, has one. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones off the top of my head, but uh, there's a few of them out there that we're, we're looking at uh, building out as well. Awesome. Well, thank you, Kyle. There was a lot covered in a quick time frame today. Uh, a lot of stuff was done in 2020. But as the recap, last year, uh, Tailwind released many integrations and updates that will save you time, money, and optimize your workflows. Integrations and updates that include a revamped free POD, free POD capture mobile app, uh, POD complete, Border Connect, Ace ACI, and Key Manifest integration, easy check-in and trucker tools, load tracking, Kleinschmidt EDI, RMIS for optimized carrier onboarding and carrier compliance and all those other numerous uh, core enhancements that uh, Kyle just went through there. And before we get into your questions, we have one more for you. Let me get that all teed up here. I'd like to ask, uh, would you like for someone on the Tailwind team to reach out to you in the next week or so here to bring you up to speed on any of these enhancements that we covered today? Or if you're new to Tailwind, would you be interested in a trial? So let us know, you know are, are you interested in trialing the TMS free for 15 days? You wanna to speak to somebody at Tailwind about getting started with the TMS? 
um, or maybe you'd just like to learn more specifically or specifically about one of the uh, technologies we talked about in the webinar. Um, and if this is the case, just throw in which technology you're most interested in in the, uh, in the chat there. I give people a couple more seconds here. All right, let's give her 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you could always let us know afterwards as well. So close that out. And we'll move on to some of the questions. <clears throat> I have a few that have come in here and feel free to keep on sending them. Um, people are, or one person is asking, what product tiers are those new features available in? Um, Kyle, do you want to go through? The sure, uh, I'll, I'll take this one. Um, so the different product tiers, these features are available in EDI. Um, that is available in our unlimited tier. Uh, easy check-in, uh, as I talked about, is available in all tiers. Um, just has different limits in terms of how many loads you get to track. Uh, Trucker Tools integration uh, is available in both Enterprise and Unlimited. Border Connect is the same, on Enterprise Unlimited. QuickBooks Desktop, same, Enterprise Unlimited. Uh, our, our POD Complete app is available in all of our tiers. Um, and then lastly, RMIS is available in our Unlimited tier. Um, Someone is asking uh, about the load tracking. Uh, do drivers need an app for the load tracking? Yeah, so for easy check-in, uh, the answer is no. Uh, they don't need an app, it is an appless solution. What happens is they will be uh, simply texted a link uh, and with that, it gives them the ability to then open up just a web page to perform uh, the updates to everything. For trucker tools, yes, um, there is an app that is required to be downloaded and there are over 1 million drivers that are already using it. Uh, and then as well with our, our app, we do require downloads as well. But, yeah. No tracking. And with the trucker tools, one that there's like other things on it, like lifestyle stuff for the trucker. So there's a lot of reason that the truckers would want to be downloading it too. That is uh, correct. Yes. Yeah. And somebody's asking, what is the cost of easy check-in? Free, free, and more free. Um, yes. So with that, it's only limited in terms of how many loads uh, that you are able to track. So uh, on Pro, it's 25, Enterprise 50, and Unlimited is Unlimited. Um, on the lower tiers uh, for Pro and Enterprise, um, if you do go over the limit uh, of your um, allocation, it is $1 per load after that. Uh, and someone's asking uh, the cost of EDI. Um, I could take this one. If you want, sure. Um, so but yeah, from the sense. Tailwind perspective, the EDI model is available within our unlimited tier, which is 199 per month on an annual contract. Uh, in addition to that, you'd have an agreement with Kleinschmidt, and their contracts are month to month, and there's a $500 development fee per trading partner to get started. And then once data is on the move, you pay only for what you send and receive on a monthly basis. Uh, so for a detailed cost breakdown over time, um, best of work with the client Schmidt uh, sales rep um, to, to find out what those accurate costs could be for you for your typical load, number of loads per month um, and we can put mm -hmm. you in touch with them. Uh, someone's asking how do I get started with EDI? So this is a, the EDI question here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Kyle, you want, to... you want me to take this one? Sure. sure. Yeah, so, so getting started is, is super easy. Um, what you can do is reach out to our uh, customer service team um, and they'll confirm that you are on our unlimited tier. Um, once that's been confirmed, then we'll perform uh, a handoff with the client team um, to let them know that you, you're looking for the EDI um, because there is some stuff that they'll need to then do to uh, work with your trading partner to get the docs that are required, um, some of those other requirements and, and stuff in terms of the specifics, um, and, and then work with you as well at that point. And Kyle, what was the uh, the typical implementation time for, for EDI there? Yeah, it does vary depending on the number uh, of documents uh, types that you're going to be doing. So like we have the 204, the tender, the, the 990, which is the acceptance, the shipment status, 214s, and then the invoicing. It's not always a requirement to do all of those, um, but typically we're finding 
um, that the implementation process is between two to three weeks to to get uh, onboarding. Um, part of it also depends on uh, the trading partner and um, their testing schedule. Sometimes they have specific uh, appoint, uh, times that need to be uh, tested in. Um, so that does sometimes delay things, but usually it's about two to three weeks. Uh, this one looks like it's pretty specific. My, my driver is doing a round trip from Windsor to Buffalo and back. How does this work when submitting the manifests? It sounds like a Border well, Connect question there. I was going to um, say, ACCI. Yeah, so with yeah. that, um, basically, you would simply just create one, one dispatch um, with your pickup in uh, Windsor going to Buffalo. Um, sorry, I guess it would go Windsor, and then your border crossing, and then Buffalo. And then if it's going from that same location, you then create the Canadian border crossing and then your Canadian delivery. Um, and then you have the option to submit both the ACE and the ACI. Um, you would have to click each of them because they are different documents that go across to two different border services. Um, but you can do it all from within one trip. Um, and then follow up to that, how much does Border Connect cost? Carl, do you want to take that one too? Yeah, so their pricing is kind of a what they term a pay-as-you-grow model. Um, so it is dependent on the number of loads that you're going to be um, sending or manifest that you're going to be sending across. Um, it's free for up to 40 shipments uh, per month. Um, and this is combined between both north and southbound loads. Um, after the 40, it's 89.95 for up to 75 shipments. Um, and they have packages that range all the way up to uh, $925 for 1,500 shipments per month, um, depending on your volumes and stuff like that. But it, it's best to chat with them directly, determine what makes the most sense for, for your business. And somebody's asking about uh, tracking loads with trucker tools and, and how much that costs. And I can say that that's also flexible and it's based on the number of loads per month that you're, you're doing. And, mm -hmm. and really it's best to kind of chat with them to get an exact quote on that. Um, on the accuracy and frequency um, so it uses gps so it's quite accurate um, and it pings the device uh, five minutes by default um, mm -hmm. so yeah uh, how much data is used um Kyle, do you know? yeah so is that referencing just how much data is used with trucker yeah for trucker tools, tools it looks like yeah yeah, but like, so. yeah. Okay, so with that, it does run in in the background. Um, so it does use very minimal uh, data usage in terms of the the GPS information when it does does go. Um, it, basically, it's just lat long info, so it's it's very very minimal. Um, RMIS related question now. Uh, mm -hmm. Where does RMIS get the carrier compliance data from? That is a great. Uh, that is a great question um, and somewhat complicated uh, because it does come from many, many different sources. Some comes from the carrier, some comes from the DOT, uh, some comes from insurance providers, IRS, I, I can't speak. Um, so basically what they do is they take all of these various different sources and aggregate it all into one place and then provide that visibility to, to you guys uh, at that point. Um, follow up there. How much work is required by the carriers? Well, I, I know this one. <laughs> uh, yes. <There laughs> Kyle's go. a smart one. I'm just the marketing guy. Um, no. But uh, they, they, they claim it's, uh, it takes about 10 minutes, um, but it also depends on how many questions you want to be asking the carriers, but um, it makes it pretty fast as they got their templates uh, kind of locked in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and the cost for RMIS? Uh, it starts at 340 per month, and then it's really based on usage. So depending on however many carriers you're, you're onboarding in a given month. So you're working with, with them through that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, looks like things have slowed down for questions, and we're coming up to our 45-minute mark anyway. Um, so I, maybe I'll just take the time out and just thank everybody sure. for joining us today. Um, we're very excited to share what we've been working on with you and do welcome any additional questions that you may have. You can always just reach out to us by phone. Information's on the slide there, 1-866-441-0441, or by email, info at tailwindtms.com. Um, and with that, we hope you have a great rest of your day and even better 2021. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone.